Hey guys, Froming Horror, this is ABC Halloween, and this is going to be a long video, so grab some popcorn and a blanket, because I'm talking about all the animatronics that have come out that I can possibly remember and research that I think I have done videos on for 2024. In my opinion, from worst to best, these are just my opinions. You are entitled to have your own. We are in a free country. Um, so, you can have your own opinion. But, these are just my opinions. So, this is gonna be a long video. Let's grab some popcorn, grab a blanket, and let's get ready for this. Okay, so starting off with the Halloween costumes Plague Doctor. This one's interesting. He looks kinda cool. But he doesn't sound cool. He just sounds really stupid in my opinion, and I don't think that's how we would want a prop to be um, for a plague doctor. We want quite a sinister voice, not a weird voice. So, yeah. So, he's not the best, so that's why he has placed as the worst prop so far of 2024. No surprise, gotta say it, because HalloweenCostumes.com is not the best at making props. And when they do make good props, it's because of Brick Thunder. So I'm sorry about that, but HalloweenCostumes.com, you might need to step up your game. Maybe pay for good voice actors, because these kind of just sound like people on the street. Okay, next we've got the 12-foot bone collector from Lowe's. This thing is, um, interesting. It, it's just the look is off. I don't know why it would be 12 feet tall. Pulling a ten and a half foot shovel, kind of useless. And then it's just got a sack with a skeleton arm and head and whatever coming out. It's just a small skeleton, like a normal size skeleton. But then again, why would a humanoid figure be so freaking tall? Um, so that one just does not make much sense. <coughs> In my eyes, that just does not make much sense at all. This one is going to be super controversial. Um, it's the low from Lowe's, the Wednesday's, Wednesday's Joseph Crackstone. So this is the one I called the um, the Thanksgiving guy. Um, he's dressed like a pilgrim from that movie, but he's actually Joseph Crackstone from Wednesday. Who the heck knows who that is? So he doesn't move his mouth, but he talks, and he has like. Gas, what well, looks like gas coming out of his mouth, which is weird, but I guess for like 400 bucks, though, that's a little bit of a price to pay for a prop that's not completely, completely what it should be. When I found out the price for this thing, I was like, this thing better have pneumatics, this thing better have servos, this thing better come with a free air compressor, this thing must come with a free wall outlet, <laughs> stuff like that. Because this thing is just ridiculously priced for what it does. Plus, why would you want to come out with a character that, like, nobody knows besides people that are serious fans? I mean, the Haunted Mansion characters, like, they're kind of the same deal, but at least it's Haunted Mansion that people have known for, like, 50 years. So, the, this one's also very controversial. The Morris Pole Clown. The, cl the clown on the poles. On the pole he's balancing on. Very interesting one. He's interesting. He's just not the best. The little guy's got a big voice. I don't know. He's just very interesting. Next is the low siren witch. That one that was just, I don't know. Interesting to say the least. <laughs> With the web hands and stuff. Like the webbed hands. Very interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of it. That's why it's kind of low. But... Still, it's a very interesting one, and I don't know, maybe this is an item that you're going to want to put in your haunt, I don't know, but it's not that interesting to me. It's got, like, the same face. Um, so we've got Cousin It from Lowe's. Um, Lowe's Cousin It. Very weird one. I don't know. Um, he's bump and go for some reason. He's only like four feet tall. So I don't know. I just think it's rather weird that they'd come out with him. 
But yeah, now let's move on to the, the better half. Okay, so next up we've got the Haunted Mansion Knight. Now, he is not my favorite for sure. Um, so he's very low, but I don't know why they had to come out with the knight out of all things. It doesn't seem like they should have come out with him. It seems like they had a lot more opportunity. Oh, uh, I actually saw some Jemmy guy, some Jemmy guy in the community. Some Jemmy collector has a original 90s Jemmy hitchhiking ghost, which is really interesting. So they really should have remade that and came out with a hitchhiking ghost. But it definitely seems like Wednesday is a bigger license this year. But then, nonetheless, I might pick it up if I get it on sale. Just not for 300 bucks. but although it's made by Techie, probably. Next is the Lowe's Kraken Groundbreaker. He's okay. He's not a prop, but he lights up and he's huge, so I'm going to qualify him a prop at least. He's very interesting, though. The reason most of this list is Lowe's props, because we've been bar bombarded with them lately. The Lowe's Reaper Band, very okay-ish, not the best. Um, very weird, though, how they look. The original face last year was kind of on the cheaper side, but this year they actually are coming off scarier faces. So that's really cool, but like I said in my other video, you can build a freaking Chuck E. Cheese Band, which is really cool. The Lowe's Witch, very interesting. I don't know. I don't know. It just looks like Lethal Lily, kind of, but not as cool, not as detailed, although this thing, I think, is using servos. I know, like, Lethal Lily again, but it's just really weird, in my opinion. Um, it's cool, but weird. Wednesday Adams is next. This prop is pretty cool. Um, it obviously dances in that dance that she does in the show, apparently. I have not seen that show, like much of my other fellow haunters, I have not seen that show. But it's very interesting to say the least, sounding at least. But the prop looks very detailed to about how Jenna Ortega looks, so I have it pretty high up on the list. Because of the detail, and because of how realistic this thing looks. Next is the Party City Dobby. Um, he is a prop that I think was slightly released in the source, like test him out last year. But now he's back this year, and he's online available, so that's very cool. Uh, I like him. That's why he's high up. He's very well detailed. The Morris Costumes Grave Robber is next. He's very cool. He is not the best, not the worst, so he's like in the middle, but on the better half of the middle. Next is the Lowe's S Scuba Diver, or Sea Diver. So yeah, that's what he looks like. He's very weird. And uh, yeah, he's cool though. I love how he looks and the weirdness factor on him. He's very cool. But one I do think from Lowe's is better than him is the Sea Captain. I actually think he is a lot better. Sea Captain is really good. He rules. Um, and so the Sea Captain's a really good one. He just looks like one of those sailors you'd see in like a portrait or a statue. And turn to Creepified. My favorite animatronic so far of 2024 is the Sword Swallower um, from Morris Costumes 2024. Um, it's a very cool one in my opinion. I love it. I love the details. I just love how it looks. It's amazing the animation. It's incredible. And it's definitely my favorite. I hope they don't uh, overcharge you because I'm just Morris. But um, that's still such an amazing prop. And really, finally, a carnival animatronic that might not always be clowns. So that is amazing too. So for Horror, this is ABC Halloween.